In this video, I want to demonstrate how we can keep our Toshiba Fire TVs from going to sleep. Um, oftentimes, mine goes to sleep. I'd rather turn my TV off myself than to have it time out. Uh, I've already done this on my Fire Stick, and so now I'm doing it on my Fire TV. And so the first thing that we have to do is we have to go to our settings. When we go to our settings, we scroll down till we get to um, device and software, which is in the bottom on the middle of the Toshiba Fire TV. And then we go to developer options and we make sure that when we select developer options ADB debugging is on also we have to make sure we have apps from unknown sources checked as well so as you can see they both say on so then we go back to our home button press your home button go back home and then we want to go to our app list and we have to get the downloader app. If you don't have the downloader app, you need to download the downloader app. Um, so once you have the downloader app, if you don't have the downloader app, you need to go into the um, app store, which I'll show really quickly how to do that. When you go here to your apps and you add apps, You get your app lists, your apps and channels. You can go here, press your uh, menu button, and you can say, um, says you're supposed to be able to add more. So we have to scroll down to the bottom of this page inside your apps and channels. You go to App Library. Once you go to App Library, you can do a search and you can put Downloader in the search. So once you press down, you see it gives you Downloader. And you can scroll to Downloader. And then boom, there it is, select it, install it. Okay. So since I already have it, now that I have downloader, then the next thing you want to put in the Okay, so once we're in a downloader app, we need to press the uh, information for the URL. So it's two one two zero three. And then you just press go. And this is going to take us to the website where we have to download the ADB app in order to keep the TV from timing out. And so it's a UK website, so it takes a second to load. So we're going to scroll down till we get to remote ADB shell. Okay, and then we click that. And then we're going to say install if you have to select install. All right, so now come here, say install. And then instead of saying open, we want to say done. Because the next thing we want to do is delete it. I always delete apps as soon as I download them so that I don't forget and they take up space. So then you want to delete. And then it says it's ready. So do you just hit the launch button. And it will launch. So the next thing it's going to say is new key pair generated. 
You want to press OK. And then we're going to put the information in for the timer in where you say IP address. Your IP address is going to be 127.0.0.1. And then you're going to connect. You just got to press connect like three or four times. The connect doesn't light up, but once you press all the way down, you click it, then you see it says connect. Then you want to select ABD, allow ADB bugging, so you press the middle button inside the remote, scroll down to OK, and press OK. Now we're going to put the code in. So we have to move the cursor down here to the bottom, and... Once we move the cursor to the bottom, I'm going to show you the, where the cursor is because it's not showing there. i got to move it. Okay. So once we get the cursor down there to the bottom, we move away from the screen a little. Maybe it'll show. Okay. So we got the cursor down to the bottom. We're going to need to type in settings, space, get, space, Secure, space, sleep, underscore, timeout. Now you're messing with the inner workings of this actual um, TV. Now you've gone into ADB debugging. So you just want to make sure that you spell everything right. Um, and once you spell everything right, then you can double check. So it's supposed to say settings, get, settings, space, get, space, secure, space, sleep, underscore, timeout. Right? So once you guarantee that you have that, then you press the play pause button. And then that'll come up and you tell it to run okay and then you hit the back button and you see it's going to give you these properties over here so it's actually these are what is set for seconds so it's actually set for 840,000 seconds before it times out now so now we have to type in settings space Put, space, secure, space, sleep, underscore, time out, space, and then put zero because we don't want it to time out. If you wanted to time out, you can calculate how long you want. Um, it's already set for like 20 minutes if you want an hour, hour and a half, you can just figure out how many seconds that is, and then you plug in the seconds. All right, then we double check and make sure that everything's okay. That it says exactly settings, space, put, space, secure, space, sleep. Oh, see, I messed up. I have a space between secure and timeout. I mean, sleep and time out. It's not supposed to be a space. See, now it just wants to keep writing it. So now I have to re type it all over again. Right. And let me try it again myself. Settings. Space, put, space. Secure space sleep underscore time out space. And I'm going to put zero. Okay. So see, that's why it's a good idea to double check. You can see I almost made a mistake, and that's the worst thing you want to do because you can crash your TV. 
and then you have to replace it okay so you come down here and we select run and then you look there and it says sleep put secure settings put secure sleep timeout zero and now we're going to check it and double check and make sure that it's it took so now we have to get the cursor down and we want to type in once again settings right because it's a setting settings space get space secure space sleep underscore time out now it's going to tell us what is set for because we just told it to get so now we just go scroll down to the bottom press run now we hit the back button and boom the total zero and that is how you set your screen not to time out on your fire tv and I just so happen to have the Toshiba brand. So then what you want to do, what I did after that, is you go out, you just press the back button to get out. And then once I got home, now you can, you can have your screensaver come on and use your screensaver, whatever your screensaver is. Or if you have a launcher installed, on your TV you can then turn your launcher on and your launcher will display see the time that's really what I want I just really want the time and some personal photographs so then your TV then becomes a um, a big photo display instead of just the TV sitting off so when it's sitting there not being used you can actually have it be a um, picture frame and you can have the, the TV time display and it won't time out until you tell it turn off. So this has been a video on how to stop your fire TV from going to sleep or turning off. I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.